What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And oh, sh not a good start. Hold on, timeout. We're not. We're not ending it. <laughs> oh, not. A, oh, come on. How do I? Uh, do I gotta hold this? I'm not cutting this out. Sorry, ladies. You're getting. You're getting. This is quality right here. Let me see. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna stick. <laughs> Whatever. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below and by maybe the ice on the back of my damn window, it's it's early in the morning, right? Uh, super early. Uh, maybe seven, something like that. I don't know. But I'm going to make a video because I promised myself I was going to do a video. I was like, I have to do it. I haven't made one in two days. Wait. Maybe, maybe. Uh, who cares? I'm trying to make more videos, okay? Now, as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about if he does these things, it doesn't necessarily mean he likes you. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't mean that, but I think context is very important. And a lot of my clients will come to me with these things and say, well, he did this, he did, you know, and that, and blah, blah, blah. What do you mean he doesn't like me? It's context, right? So I want to tell women, before we even talk about that stuff, first off, to subscribe. And click the red button below along with, uh, if you want to work with yours truly, link is down in the description. But, um, focus on a man's long-term actions, okay? And you're going to see what I mean by that when I say these kind of things. A lot of women fall for a guy doing these things in the beginning. And here's a disclaimer. Oh, wow, I left my keys in the car. Holy shit, someone could have stole that. That's great. But here's the thing. Whether a guy likes you in terms of a relationship or in terms of a booty call, he's going to do these things anyway. He's going to do them anyway. He has to win you over, court you, trick you, whatever it is, uh, you know, just prove himself. He's going to do these anyway. So look at things long term. These are standards that should be happening, right? You don't, don't equate these, oh, he likes me. This shit should be happening at least. Uh, now, let's see if he keeps it long term. Okay, so number one is the initiating, the texting, the reaching out and always wanting to see you. Again, that's his job. He's attracted to you. He likes you. He wants to win you over. So, of course, he's going to do it. And again, I have so many clients who come to me and say, well, he's 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 initiating 90% of the time. They always start that off. You know, just before you before we talk about it, Elliot, let me just say that he's the one initiating 90% of the time. He's the one always reaching out. He's the one texting me first. He's the one saying, good morning, beautiful. Okay, great. Let's see if he keeps that up over a period of time. Because again, women fall for this all the, um, I, I can't tell you how many times a client comes to me and says this, that, you know, he's doing X, Y, Z. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> it doesn't mean shit. Let's look at his actions, okay, over a long period of time. Uh, the second thing is, and I have it written down here, so just in case I forget again, it's early in the morning, is uh, saying nice, sweet, beautiful things. Oh, I never met a. How are you single? I never, you know, I never met a woman like you. Any guy who who ends up being with you is is so lucky. Uh, uh, again, you're just so beautiful. How are you single? Or uh, or or you know. Oh, again, he makes us a rap. You guys are out to dinner. He makes a reference on uh, the future or kids or what you're looking for. He asks you for those kind of things, and women automatically think, "Well, he's talking about the future. He's asked me if I want kids. Does that mean he's interested?" Again, these are things that are going to happen anyway. And a lot of the times, guys say these things because it's in the moment. You know, that it doesn't mean he doesn't like you, but I think a lot of women take these signs as. Matter of facts, when that's not the case, he could be saying because he maybe is interested, but it doesn't mean he's gonna be interested long term. Hey, maybe you're an interesting girl, but then he's on the fourth date with you and he realizes, hey, you're not what he's looking for, right? Or maybe uh, he's trying to start a conversation, or maybe he's asking these questions just to figure out if you guys are compatible. There's a lot of reasons why guys ask questions. There's a lot of reasons why guys say the things they, you know, they say. Not that he's complete. Not I'm not saying all guys are completely bullshitting him, but it's like. It just creates a better tone or atmosphere or vibe if I say, God, you're a beautiful looking girl, right? Again, not that he's lying, but again, it doesn't mean he wants to be with you long term, <laughs> you know? And that's where a lot of, again, a lot of women fall um, fall under the fallacy of, okay, if I say I'm looking for a relationship and you're wanting one and we're talking 
it means we're going to be in a relationship. That's not true. Again, I can lose interest in you over time. So, so that's why I tell women, focus long term, focus over time. Which leads me to the third thing, which is consistency. You have to look at consistency. Now, guys are always going to be consistent for the most part within the first few weeks and months. Uh, because it's new, it's fresh, he doesn't know where it's going. Um, there hasn't been as many red flags in both parts. It hasn't gotten serious, so he's not pulling away or freaking out. Whatever, all these things. But if it starts running its course, and he starts showing, or the interest is consistent, now, of course, there's going to be times where he you know, shows interest, and then you might, you might not hear from him for a day or two, which I think is fine. A lot of women freak out over that, but I just think that's insecurity and validation. I'm not one who likes to talk to somebody every day. But if he's consistent in the beginning, that doesn't count. He's going to be. If he's consistent over time, okay, now you got yourself a, a potential partner. You know, I mean, I feel like, and I say this all the time, investing my resources in a woman, time, energy, effort, money, emotional, you know, uh, or vulnerability, I guess I would say, um, over again, over long term, that's a good sign that you guys are on the same page. Okay. So with that being said, ladies, listen, do not fall for this shit just because it, it doesn't mean anything. Look at actions over time. This shit always happens in the beginning. It's a prerequisite. It should be happening. If he's not doing this in the beginning, you might as well just cut it off. Okay. So that being said, I love you. Take care. If you have not yet, yet God damn son. If you have not yet, um, subscribe, red button below, along with the bell notification. And if you want a session with yours truly, link is down in the description. I love you. Take care and peace.